Throwing a crab out. I'm up. This guy. I'm up. This guy. That's a hog. Shark. I'm on. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Good one? That's a gag. That's a big gag. <laughs> what's going on everyone so it is an absolutely beautiful day offshore the conditions have been pretty much perfect it's been flat calm it hasn't been too hot it's been really nice out here now i'm out here with my buddy jordan and we were targeting red grouper hogfish and snapper and we did a pretty good job today he was mostly dropping some frozen sardines and pinfish and getting some grouper and i was the one that was mostly doing some lighter stuff with the hogfish and snapper but we got it all in footage and we got a cooler full of fish right now so we'll get it right into uh today's video all right so i am dropping down a little egg weight with three beads and a small size one circle look with a little piece of shrimp first to see if we can get some hogs or anything fired up on my pen battle 3 uh 2500 with 10 pound braid on my brand new rod this is my bull bay banshee it's a 74 medium light action rod so let's test out this rod see what we can get and jordan's over there struggling come on now might find it weird oh get him get him a little bit better i, I would guess i'm on Hold up. First real fish on this rod. Probably still gonna be a grunt. Oh yeah, we're getting a little bit better. Reds are, here. Reds are here. Yeah, I just got a grunt. It's very red though. This rod feels fun. That's getting close. That's like an 18 probably. We've gotten clearly keeper size reds here before. So let's hope that they're here. We got 24s. Yeah, we got like 24s, 25s. And now the reds are back because we weren't catching reds the other day. Yeah, I got off. There you go. I think it's just grunter again. Ooh, I do have the crabs. Oh, nice. crab, yeah. And we also have the chum thing that we could drop down. Oh yeah. Should we try that? Yeah, for sure. Get the net out too. Yeah, I already got the net out. Oh, dear. Yeah, way ahead of you on that. See, dude, let me try and get that chum. See what the deal is with that. That's a bag? It's in there. In there? Apparently, you drop this down. Oh, wow. How do you drop it down? Well, usually you tie it on your like anchor line, but since I throw that, I don't really know. <laughs> you don't drop like the gosa down on your side with it on? I don't care. That way it also has a hook in it. You know, if something picks it up. That's how bait it feels like. Man, it's not a bad idea. Put it right there. Got that tail water. You can look at the, the bag. It's a super shrimp bag. Two pound bag equivalent to 12 pounds of fresh shrimp. We're dropping it down. See if that gets some things fired up. All, All right, that's on the bottom. Just put that there and we'll put the free line up here. Let that do its magic down there. I wonder what's happening like with that bag down there. 80,000 grunts going after it right now. Well, the thing is the grunts will be brought in and then the grouper and everything will be brought into that too. So it's just kind of bringing everything to the boat. Oh, great. Good one. All right, I'm gonna wait to see what flavor it is before I start freaking out. It actually pulled drag too. Did it? Yep. Yep. It's digging. Okay, geez. It's a gag. Is it? Oh, no, it's a red. Big red? I think it's a red. I think it's a red. Big red. Is it? That's a good red. That's a good red. Dude! <laughs> dude, that's a keeper. 100%. I felt it. It was pulling dry nice. like no other. There you go, dude. Get a measurement on them. See what it is. As, as these people are going by, I'm like, ah, oh, no. I'm going 23 on them. So not as big as we thought, but he's still a keeper. He's 21 and a half. 21 and a half inch red. The first keeper red on this boat, I think. Honestly. 
No, I got one with tape, but first one in a while. So we'll throw them in the cooler boy. and see if we can get some more. Put the eyes on them for now. Then we'll make a, a slurry when we're heading back. Hey, good job. So we got one red grouper in the box already. That's sick. Oh, freaking beefy sucker in here. That's the ones we caught last night. Yeah, it's a lobster. Jordan and I went out last night and loaded up on some bait to put in the bait pen. And while we were throwing the cast net, we were getting shrimp. And we got some big shrimp in there too. Okay, let's drop a shrimp down. I'm gonna try casting like down current up that bag. It is so flat out right now. That's a better fish. That seems good. That's a better fish. Be a hog, be a hog. I just don't want to be in this line. I don't think it's a hog. Not really digging like a hog. Oh wait, it's a hog. That's a hog. Uh. Hog hog? Might be keeper. Yeah, it looks keeper. Might be keeper. That looks keeper. 14 to the fork, let's get a measurement. Hey, I'd say so far that uh, Chum seems like it's doing a pretty good job. That's bigger than what we've been oh. catching the past weeks. Hey, as long as it's not 13 and a half like every other one. Uh -huh. that 13 and a half. No way. Yep. A little short. See you, dude. There it goes. So you got bigger hogfish. Oh, we have those crabs. I keep forgetting. Use one. Oh my God, Brent. Shark. You got it. Throwing a crab out. Crab going down should be hogfish candy. Hogfish love crabs. Oh, oh, oh. Crab's getting, yep, crab's getting hit. That's gotta be a hog, right? Must be. Just not fighting. Yeah, it's a hog. Question is, how big are you really going to be? It's not that big. 11. I still got the crab though. Literally still have the entire crab. That guy's clearly short, but I saved my bait. See you, dude. Jesus. <laughs> Dropping the crab, back, the same crab back down. Oh, Remember oh, if we get any oh. big grunts. That was better. Another hog on. <laughs> They're liking the crabs. It does feel heavier. It is another hog. Can't tell how big you are. I got a measurement on you. They're liking the crabs. 13 and a half. Cookie cutter down there. See you, dude. Every time. Yep. There you go. There you go. Get him. Yeah, that's a good one. Pull him again. That's a good one. Get him out. Is he in the rocks? Yep. You gotta wait him out. Give him a good old jolly pull, you know. Oh, he's yeah. out. He's out. Got him. Alright, real. Is he back in? Back out. Okay. Palm that reel. <laughs> Here, I'll grab the net. That's gonna be a good fish. That is going to be a good fish. Red. Is it a red? Or a gag. That's a gag. That's a big gag. That is a big gag. Come on over here, dude. He's got a couple scratch marks on him. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big gag. Oh, if only you were in season. Hey, you waited them out and you got them. 25 and a half. Yep. 
We got a 25 and a half inch gag. We got a 21 and a half inch red in the cooler right now. George is dropping down frozen sardines and slaying it. So let's see if we can get some more. There he goes. See you, dude. No wonder they dig so hard. Come here, Mr. Krabby Patty. That's why you got him to use them, right? Yes, sir. Dude, I thought that was going to be a big red. Yeah. Dropping down a little pass crab right here that I caught last night. See if the hogs want to eat him. Let me see if I can get a hog or something cool. Or a mangrove or something. Something other than a grunt. Literally anything other than a grunt. I'm on. It doesn't feel bad. Shut up. What are we dealing with? Hog. Girl. Not a bad one. See you, girl. All right, let's move. Can you uh put the cooler down? Two pounds of shrimp. It's a bag. You want me to put this throw motor up? Yeah, the bag got like ripped. All right, so we ran out of the the chum bag. I'd say it like worked. At first, when we first put it down, that was kind of on fire for a little bit. Produce scrimps first. You got green back down. Mm -hmm. This is a spot that we got, uh, or JC got a bunch of uh, big mangroves out last time. There you go. Oh, that's a red. No! That looked like a red, didn't it? Seemed like it. Where it's just kind of dead weight. I'm gonna try a small pin. Oh. Oh, something just slammed my little pin. Which rod? In my hand. Here on. on on a pinfish. So could be a snapper or a grouper. What are we dealing with? Looks like a snapper. Snapper. Yeah? Yep. Nice. Decent one. On a little pinfish. I mean, that's definitely over 12. I'll get a measurement on him. 13 and a half. He's going in. I'm gonna try this little Mahara. Snapper love Mahara, so let's see if I have heard that. Well, there's any I witnessed that. Yeah, they love them. So let's see if we can get any more. Thank you. Your weight's all messed up. He's alive. Oh, my weight is messed up, he says. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm up. This guy. I'm up. This guy. Another snapper probably. Feels like another snapper. Come on up. Come on up. What are you gonna be? Another snapper. Yeah? Yep. Another good one. Oh, nice. Dude, we're on them here. May not be on the grouper, but I'm on the snapper. Probably like another 14, 15 incher. That is sick. What are you dropping? I'm dropping, but I'm having it like a foot off the bottom, and I think that's key. 